The World Meteorological Organization has released its annual greenhouse gas bulletin, and it paints a pretty stark picture. Carbon dioxide levels rose by a record amount last year, reaching their highest point since measurements began. Earlier today, I spoke with CBS News national environmental correspondent David Schechter to ask what makes this spike in CO2 levels so different. Chanel, it's the size of the jump and what's driving it is what we're talking about, what people are concerned about. The World Meteorological Organization says concentrations surged by 3.5 parts per million in just one year. Might not sound like a lot. That's the biggest spike since record keeping began in 1957, as you mentioned earlier. In addition to ongoing fossil fuel emissions, 2024 also saw major wildfires and a weakening of the ability of forests and oceans to absorb the carbon in the atmosphere, which they're so good at. That means more of it is now staying in the air and trapping even more heat. So there's a strong connection between releasing more carbon dioxide and heating up the planet. And David, also in this report, it sounds like Earth's natural systems are weakening. What does that mean and how serious is this? It's a serious concern. Forests and oceans have long acted as like a sponge, as a safety net, absorbing about half of our carbon emissions every year. But in 2024, those systems started to take a hit from record heat waves and droughts. And when those buffers get overwhelmed, like through deforestation or through ocean heat waves, it dampens their ability to stabilize the climate. They're really our allies in this fight, but they're now becoming overwhelmed. That's what the science is telling us. And David, I know that you've actually been to the Mauna Loa Observatory in Hawaii. How do scientists there actually measure carbon and why does that work so important? It's a fascinating place. Since the late 1950s, they've collected there, they've collected air there from high up on this volcano that we visited. It's more than 11,000 feet up. And so it's free from local pollution, but it's basically a very well mixed sample of air from air that's circulating around the globe. And they're checking that air for carbon dioxide readings. The readings from up there are critical because they track how fast the planet is warming over time. And you can see it just has gone up every year. This is now the biggest increase we have seen. Under President Donald Trump's 2026 budget proposals, he would close the Mauna Loa Observatory and we would no longer have readings from that location. Okay, David Schechter, thank you. Thank you.